is Pastor Goodman doing pre-conference Bible studies for this summer's conference for you at Higher Things. You are told to read 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 16 and 17 and asked, if you have been crucified with Christ in your baptism and have been made a participant of his suffering in the Lord's Supper, does God leave any doubt of your resurrection? And I know what you're supposed to say. He leaves no doubt. God has done it all for you. Except I still have doubt. I doubt sometimes that it's real. I doubt sometimes that it's enough. I, I have doubts that I am worthy. <sighs> Which is why God keeps giving us more. You are brought to your baptism every single time you hear the invocation in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the very same words that you were baptized into. You are reminded of your baptism every time you make the sign of the cross just like this. It's not magic. It's just a chance to remember something that was done once that has an effect today for you right now when you doubt, when you struggle, when you need it. You are fed every week with his body and blood, hopefully. You eat and drink salvation itself. See, it's not enough that God has done it all for you. He has to give it all to you. He can't leave it back there in history. He can't just give it once and expect me to sort of carry it after that. He refuses to let the resurrection exist only upon my certainty. Instead, he feeds me with the things that yield certainty that would drag me to the resurrection. He gives me these things, not just as a reminder of what was over and over again, but the very things that manifest it, make it real, make it mine over and over again. You are made a participant in the victory over sin and death, every time you commune, you are made a part of the cross. Every time you remember your baptism and you are made a part of the resurrection, you are not sort of thinking about what was, but you are receiving what is. And here's the thing about doubt. It's not that doubt won't exist. It's that if God is doing all of that, it's that doubt never goes unanswered. It's not just by a call to believe harder. It's not even by token proofs that weren't actually enough for anyone else in history who saw the flashy miracles and still doubted or even called for crucifixion of our Lord who did them for their families. It's that death has still been conquered, even when you doubt. It's that the things that actually deliver the salvation that were won for you on, on the cross are given for you to hang on to right now. It's that there is a hope that is not left in history but delivered to you because this is the thing about the phrase, for you. Your doubt can't stop God from giving it. You, you, you can't sin enough to drive him away from you. He gives you his body and blood that sustain the very same faith that you are so worried about in the first place. If your faith is weak, this is where to go. Go to communion. Run to your baptism. Go to the very things that you have been questioning. Because this is how God gives gifts. It's not about convincing you. It's about feeding you. Whether or not you believe it at all, it is still what he says it is. But more, he makes it actually good for those he calls to receive it. He makes it good for you. Take it, eat it, drink it, and know that your God means for you to have this life and salvation. Hear it, and then realize that God gives these gifts here for you. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give, help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.